Hey guys, so we're here with a super exciting video I'm so excited to post. So, if you saw our video, I think it was the last, last video we posted. It was a little video for the intro to 2016 and it was called New Year, New Home. And I will link that on the screen and in the description if you haven't seen it. But basically, it was a little teaser to our super big surprise right now, which is... We have a dollhouse now! We've been working on this for a super long time. It's been forever and it's finally basically completed. We are so excited to show you guys this video and we hope you're really excited to see the house because we've been working on it for a long time. So we don't want to make this intro too long so we're just going to get right into it. So let's go. So the first room we're going to go through is what was previewed in my little stop motion and this is the dining room. So some of the rooms are quite bare which is because I didn't paint the walls a certain color or paint them at all. So um, I didn't decide to do that, but I think the house is pretty much done, just I might add some little rugs or little pieces somewhere, but I really wanted to make this video so I thought I'd make it now. So things may change and maybe I'll do an updated house tour later on. What's really nice about this house is that all the rooms are covered so I can easily take things out to change for sets, which I really liked. They're not too deep, but I think they're really nice. So let's get over to the little overview. So the dining room is just where they'll eat dinner. So we have Julie's Tables and Chairs, which is a retired set, and I actually really like the color. I was debating on selling this and getting a different set, but I actually kind of like it. The little art on the wall is all done by me, and the little theme of this dining room is yellow, blue, and gray, so I tried to color coordinate everything. Um, I got a couple questions on the wall art, and I was considering doing a tutorial for more because I can still make more, so let me know down below if you want a tutorial. So on the table we have the little American Girl crock pot set and it just has a bunch of of nice food and I really love this set. We also have this little thing of little flowers, they're fake of course. Um, I've had this for a really long time so I don't really know like where it's from but it's just a little DIY. I just took a little um, cup and I put some fake rocks in it or rocks and some fake flowers and some little ornament stuff. And then we have a little Starbucks ornament which I don't know why it is there. So the rug on here I got from Etsy. It is actually double-sided so I can flip it over and change the fabric. So on the front side or the side that's showing now, it's just gray with a bunch of silver little polka dots and I really like this. And the back side I love a lot. It is this blue little paisley nice print so I can switch that out whenever I like. So that's the dining room. It's really simple and I really love it and I think it'll be easy to disassemble for sets and things like that. Next up we have the kitchen, which is also shown in my stop motion. So here's a quick little overview. The theme is kind of pastel colors. So the first thing we have on the wall is this little cute um, whiteboard and I just wrote a to-do list on it. And this, I don't know where it's from, but it's from some like school supply store. So I have that. Then we have the really, really old Our Generation kitchen. There's been a lot of kitchens they have, but this is one of the older, older ones. And I really like this one because I think it goes more with my theme. So it's more, it's wooden, not plastic, and um, I don't know, I really like it. So up top I keep some lunch boxes that are all from American Girl. And in this little um, cabinet I just have a bunch of cups, which are also from various Our Generation sets. And in this one, I have just some snacks. Most of these are from retired American Girl sets, like the lunches. And yep, that's what's up there. And behind, we have a bunch of little condiments and stuff that came with different sets. Um, we have some Nutella, or Nutella, however you want to say it, and that's from an Our Generation set. The maple syrups are from an American Girl set, and then the peanut butter is also from an Our Generation. We have some fake little cereal, and these really cool little containers that can hold like flour or something. We have a little sponge in a soap container which I think is really cool and a really nice sink. So this is just a little overview. Next we have the oven and in the oven it's kind of like a storage place for us. We have random food which just came with various sets and some clay food I made and in the bottom little shelf we have like plates and stuff just because we don't really have space for them. We have plates and napkins and stuff like that in here. And these are just from various sets. So these drawers hold utensils and stuff like that. So in the top drawer, we just have a bunch of utensils. We have some tea and these mini scissors. These are really cute, I love these. Um, we have um, forks and knives and stuff that came with sets. We have baking supplies, a rolling pin, and some measuring spoons. And these are all from different sets that are either from our generation 
or something else like that. And so those are just all in there. And down here, we have plates and stuff like that. We have plates and a cheese grater and bowls. And then we also have some like more baking stuff down here and just pictures and all this other random kitcheny stuff. This over here is the fridge, which also came with the Our Generation set. So up on top, we just have some more lunch boxes and this little cake, which is from an exclusive American Girl set I think I got in New York. And then we have a little cookie box back there with just cookies. Um, this on here is a little chalkboard with real working chalk, and I got this from Michaels. And then I just put some Velcro to stick it on to here. And this is the freezer, and forgive me, my kitchen refrigerator is a mess just because we have so much doll food. These are all different things that are from American Girl or other places, and they're just various things from different sets. So like this is from the exclusive set, this is from Julie's Fondue set, and these are from a dinner set, I think, I'm not quite sure, I think breakfast set maybe. And then I just have little cute things that are doll sized. So that is the freezer. And the fridge is so full, so ready. <laughs> I cleaned up a little bit for this video. But on top we have all of the beverages, so these are all from little sets and stuff. And then we have this little drink. Oops, just dropped something. This is from Micah Mixie Pixie 7. And we just have a lot of drinks. And then on the bottom shelf, oops, okay, hold on. Okay, so on the bottom shelf we have all our food and no, it's a total wreck. Um, so we just have sandwiches and like other things. All of these, like a majority of them, probably like 90% of them are all from American Girl some form of set. You can just see we have a lot of stuff. And back here we have like the cinnamon rolls and stuff. So just a lot of loose food. I'm not going to be able to close this, am I? This is going to be a problem. So we have Julie over here who I'm just going to move out of the way. So in the corner is just like kind of a little storage unit kind of. We just have some extra bowls and stuff that we don't really have room for. So yeah, that's the kitchen and I'll probably end up getting a rug of some sort or some wall art to put up on the walls. Next we have a little bedroom and this is just an overview. This room was actually featured in my last video which was a Q&A so I'm just gonna get on with it. This bed I've had for a really long time actually, I just never assembled it. It is actually from Toys R Us. It was part of the Journey Girl set. I know a couple years ago a lot of people had this set and I actually love it. It's one of my favorite bedrooms. So. It's just a little bunk bed and up top you see we have like the bed, the mattress, and this little panda stuffed animal. And none of my rooms really have assigned like people or dolls to them, it's just kind of whoever wants to sleep. <laughs> On the side over here we have a little backpack which is from American Girl. And then the set came with a really awesome ladder and the bottom is a little desk sitting area. So below the bed is a little vanity area and it came with a little chair. On top of the desk we have a little laptop, which is actually a mirror, and I use it in a lot of my videos. It looks like a MacBook, and so it's kind of cool. And on the desk we have some other things. This here is supposed to be like a mirror, but it was kind of messed up when I got it, but it kind of works. And so in here we have this little cup, which is actually just a bottle cap, and I put some decorations on it. And we have some tiny little mini pencils that I made. As you can see here, if you guys want tutorials on anything that I said I've made, then feel free to comment down below. We also have some textbooks and notebooks that are from American Girl sets, and they're really nice and they look really real, which is cool. We also have McKenna's hamster here, which um, I bought online on eBay, and so it's just a really cool cage and it has a hamster in it, and I'm probably going to put some stuff inside the cage so it doesn't look so empty. We also have some mini dolls over here. What's really cool is I can move this ladder around, so I'm going to take it off for a second. So we have some mini dolls, we have Sage and we have Isabel, and yeah, those are just the girl of the years. The set came with a flat screen TV, which is really nice, and it also came with this bean bag, which is really nice for dolls to sit in, and this little rug, which is so fluffy and soft. I also put some slippers on the floor, so it looks like someone's been in here. And you won't be able to tell, but the bed here has connected a bookshelf. And on the bookshelf, we just have a bunch of mini books from like the mini dolls and stuff. And you can't see that right now, but it's there. And so that is the bedroom. So we have another bedroom here. And this room really doesn't have anything besides the beds in it. But I really like this room because it's super easy to switch up for sets. So we have two beds from Ikea, and most people know about these. They're just Ikea beds, and they come with the really nice pillow and mattress and blanket. 
and up top we just have some stuffed animals and a little kit mini doll <laughs> and that's basically it for this room so now we're moving on to one of my favorite rooms which is the living room so this couch and table set I got off Etsy and I absolutely love it. It came in a bigger set, but I only got the two pieces. It came with all of this stuff here, just this table and then the little rug, and I absolutely love this set. The couch has four little pillows and they're really nicely colored and I love the little theme you have going on. The table is just a plain white table and the rug is this really cool kind of like, I don't even know what it's made out of, but it's really cool and it's nice and yellow. On the little dining room table, we have a couple things. We have the American Girl telephone, which was actually a part of some set. I don't really know what it was, but if you go on eBay, you can find a lot of little pieces, and I just wanted the telephone, so I have that, and it actually makes noises and stuff, and I've actually used it in a lot of my videos. And over here, these are a little drink set with some cups and some orange juice in a pitcher, and this is from Julie's uh, room accessories. So on the walls we have a couple things. First we have a little painting I did and it just says there's no place like home and I thought it was really cute for the living room because that's where the dolls will hang out. And then up here in the middle we have this little YouTube kind of logo with some black that I did and I thought I'd put this up here because YouTube is such a big part of our lives obviously and so I wanted to start a little poster wall. So the first poster I have up because it's the only one that I have that fits is um, from Mixie Pixie 7 or Micah and I'm planning to make a whole poster wall with a bunch of YouTubers and I have a lot of posters just they're kind of big and they don't really fit on this wall here so I'm expecting to collect a ton and just have a huge YouTube wall here. And then on this wall we have the TV. The TV is actually just a photo frame from Michaels and I put a little photo of Mockingjay the movie in it and I'll probably add some buttons on the frame and make a remote to make it more realistic. So this is one of my favorite rooms and that's the living room. And this room is kind of like a laundry type room. It's sort of like a laundry room and basement type thing. So in the corner here we have a little vanity desk type thing. It's kind of just a storage unit and it has a bunch of little things in it. Here we kind of have random things. This is all our hair supplies and up here is more random things. We have all our glasses here and then we just have some like bracelets and that kind of stuff. And on top of little vanity we have this computer and this is actually retired like plugs and company I think. It's really old but it's really cool because it actually works. So I just tried to turn it on and I think it's out of battery. But it's a really old school like Mac and it has this really cool a mouse pad and it is puzzle company as you just figured out but if you put batteries in it then it will um, show a little essay type thing and I think it's really adorable we have some little like laundry baskets which I don't really know where they're from but I just have some backpacks in them and these backpacks are all from American Girl we have our hair brushes here for some reason just because I don't really have anywhere to put them they're really messed up I know um, we also have our spray bottles with water for hair and we also have our pets in this room. So these are our pets. We have Nutmeg, which is Julie's rabbit. And I don't know if they still sell her, but she just came with this basket and stuff. And we have two dogs. We have Meatloaf and Pepper, which are from American Girl as well. We have this suitcase, which is from American Girl. And we also have this little washer and dryer. I don't really know where it's from, but this has been one of my stop motions, and it's just a little launch machine, and it makes noises, but I think it might be off right now because it's not making any noises. On top of the laundry machine, we have a mini doll Grace, and then a laundry basket that just has hair accessories. We also have this sign, which is usually on the wall, but for some reason it's not. It's just one of those little clapper things that opens up, and it just has our username as a little, like, Hollywood production, <laughs> and so that's the laundry room. So we have this last room which is up here, it's kind of a two part bedroom so I'll show you the left side first and I literally am standing so close to the ceiling right now. So we have Julie's bed which I think they retired and have a new version but I have the original version. So we have her bed over here which can fit two dolls which is kind of nice and we have some mini dolls. So we have the little limited edition Julie and Josefina. The bed is nice and there's a lot of room for storage so we have boxes under here and we also have this really nice um, foot rug which came with Julie's room accessories. 
So we're at the end of the tour and this is the top um, bedroom and this is the right side. So we actually have two beds on this floor as you saw we have Julie's and then we have this one. I know it looks kind of weird but I bought this kind of as like a prop set so if I need a bed I could have this up here. And also this bed is really light so I can take it off whenever I want and make this one whole room. So that's just kind of like a temporary thing that I use. I got this bed off like Emily Rose. I'm not quite sure of the name of the company but this is a trundle. So this bedding is actually from American Girl. I bought this when it was like $10 or like $5 on sale. So we just have this bedding and a little Caroline mini doll. And this bedding did not come with this bed. This bed came with different bedding. And this is a trundle, so if I open it up, I'll open it up. And I don't know why this is here. <laughs> Basically you can fit another doll in here and I also have some storage stuff in there. And so this bed is covering this stuff, but if I move this bed, it'll all be good. But these are the little tables and containers from Julie's Room Accessories. So on the bottom, we have more mini dolls. We have Rebecca and Cecile. We have a lot of um, mini dolls. We also have a stuffed animal over there and some popcorn. In this little drawer, I think it's just some like tape recorders and stuff that are from Julie's Accessories. And in this little drawer, I think we have school supplies of some sort. Yep. And this is one of my favorite parts of the room. This is a little terrarium. I got this on Etsy, and it's so adorable. There's a little turtle inside, if you can see him right here. And this is his little home. The cage opens up, and then we have um, some turtle food, and I think it's a adorable set. On this side, we have more little doll-sized things. We have a little snow globe, which I don't know where it's from, a little chapstick, and like some perfume. We have a little lava lamp back there, which turns on and the uh, earring tree, which is from American Girl, and it has a bunch of earrings on it. And behind this, I know it's kind of covering it up, we have a couple plaques that I made. I actually only made this one, it says Be Kind, and then the one up there says Stay Weird, which is from Etsy. Um, I've made every plaque you've seen or painting besides this one. And that concludes this side of the room and the tour. So we wanted to finish off the video by saying thank you so much for watching and we hope you enjoyed this tour. We love our house and we're so excited to start filming in it and just start using it in videos. So if you watched up to here then let us know down below in the comments what your favorite room is or favorite part of the house and if you want any tutorials or anything let us know. And yeah we'll try to reply to some comments and I think that's it. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye!